subscribe to my newsletter. It's free. You've probably seen or heard this a hundred times from all over the internet. The newsletter may be free, but trust me, there is a plan behind it to make money from it. In this video, I'll show how people make money when you sign up for their free newsletter. Profitable newsletters can go for millions of dollars on the market. And even newsletters with humble beginnings can grow into profitable media companies. You've probably heard of Morning Brew, a well-thought-out newsletter with around 2.5 million subscribers. Alex Lieberman, co-founder of Morning Brew, worked on it for five years and sold the company for $75 million. He was 28 at the time. Luckily, you don't have to have millions of subscribers or get acquired by a media giant to run a profitable newsletter. If you want to launch a new revenue stream or increase your current business's earnings, stick with me for the next few minutes. If you stay until the end, you can hear some tips on how to gain newsletter subscribers. Why would anybody want to be involved in writing newsletters every week in the first place? Advertisers find newsletters reliable because emails are an incredibly effective way to reach people. Recent studies show that 22% of people open an email within one hour of receiving it, and after six hours, that number comes to almost 50%. Unlike erratic algorithms that can wreak havoc through social media, an email will land in the inbox at the exact time every week, and advertisers like that very much. Here is another proof of how valuable newsletters are to advertisers. During a 2020 survey by Statista, carried out among marketers worldwide, it was found that for every dollar invested in email marketing, brands earned $36. The ROI was highest in the retail, e-commerce, and consumer goods sectors, with $45 per dollar spent. Another example is the highest earning email newsletter on Substack in 2023 called Letters from an American, with implied minimum earnings of $5 million in overall subscriber revenue. Owning a newsletter subscriber list allows you to influence thousands of people by simply clicking send. Businesses will pay to show off their products, services, or brand within your newsletter. How much money is there for newsletter publishers? The more subscribers they have, and depending on the engagement, they could earn anywhere from $100 to $10,000 to show off a single ad. The second way they make money is through affiliate marketing. The newsletter publisher earns a commission when you purchase something through an affiliate link placed in the newsletter. The commission usually varies from 5 up to 30%. For example, if the recommended product is worth $100 and bought through an affiliate link, the newsletter owner will earn $30 from that sale. This doesn't seem like much, but think about scaling and multiplying $30 by tens of thousands of subscribers. You can apply for most affiliate programs and receive your affiliate link the same day. This makes affiliate marketing a comparatively low effort way to monetize an email list. Best way to describe this. Affiliate marketing only works if readers already want what you're about to recommend. They just don't know it yet. I will talk about affiliate marketing in my next video, so make sure to subscribe. Many email newsletter publishers realize the potential for earning through it and develop a product that would be a perfect fit for their audience. So if you don't want to deal with advertisers, sell your products. If you want to go down that road, the best way to do it is by selling a digital or physical product by adding e-commerce capability to your website. Or, it could be as simple as sending your newsletter subscribers to your Etsy shop. The earning potential and profit margins are higher than the other options since you don't have to leave a cut for someone else. Another fruitful monetization method is offering premium subscriptions. It all starts with the free newsletter, but paid subscribers receive unique and original content daily, weekly, or several times a week. The free version of the newsletter is a starting place for people to get a taste of what the premium newsletter would be like. When you hook the audience with the free version, show them juicer and original content that will make them want to pay for the premium tier. An excellent example of this is the New York Times paid membership. They found that site visitors were twice as likely to become paid subscribers if they first subscribed to the free newsletter. Standard monthly fee rates vary from $5 to $20, depending on the newsletter niche. But for this to work, you must be dedicated and commit to writing newsletters weekly. Similar to this is a membership subscription. The membership usually has a monthly or yearly fee and offers benefits like courses, events, and training content. Memberships often go for a similar price as paid newsletters, but can vary depending on the content. The content inside the membership tier is usually evergreen, meaning members can enjoy it regardless of when they join. There are tens of thousands of free newsletters. Why would anybody pay for that? 
because countless surveys have proven that people love to consume the best possible content they are interested in and are willing to pay repeatedly for quality. Finally, one of the most popular ways to monetize a newsletter isn't to make money from it, but to treat it as a funnel for a paid product. Newsletter creators often use their free newsletter to build relationships and trust with their audience, and when the time is right, offer access to more expensive offers. Courses, coaching, and consulting are all popular ways to monetize a newsletter without promoting other people's products or entangling yourself in a long-term commitment, as with paid newsletters and memberships. In short, think of your newsletter more like a tool for brand building than a direct income stream. I was involved in developing lots of free and paid newsletters for my clients, and here are some tips I've learned through the years that may help you. First and most important is ensuring the email signup form is user-friendly, easily accessible, and requires minimal information. Trust me, this will for sure enhance the likelihood of users subscribing. Build relationships with potential subscribers through active engagement on social media and other platforms, emphasizing the creation of a quality subscriber list over sheer quantity. Provide compelling incentives for subscriptions, such as discount codes or exclusive offers, and promote these across various marketing channels to maximize visibility and interest. Establish subscriber-only advantages like early content access, special discounts, or exclusive materials, making the email list seem like an exclusive club. Encourage current subscribers to share your content and refer new subscribers, potentially through a structured referral program, to grow your subscriber base organically. Creating content to create content is not enough. It would be best to prioritize researching what your target audience likes and dislikes. Create content that resonates and allows for your email list to want to engage. The more you understand their pains and desires, the better your content will create bonds. For example, most newsletter recipients don't want ads or promotions but are willing to accept them if you provide them with email content they can't resist. Engaging millennials and Gen Z through email newsletters is an incredibly lucrative market segment in today's business landscape. Surveys have revealed astonishing statistics. 59% of millennials and 70% of Gen Zers check their email from bed in the morning. This demonstrates the immense potential for reaching and connecting with these generations through email newsletters. For millennials, informational newsletters with exclusive discounts and personalized content work like a charm. Gen Z newsletter subscribers are a savvy bunch. They are more willing than older generations to share information to get more relevant offers, and 60% prefer offers that are tailored to their lifestyle. At the same time, this group is the most likely to say they will avoid ads at all costs. This means that the surest way to engage Gen Z is to make what hits their inbox as relevant as possible. Your subscribers are on your list for the value they can receive. If you ensure that your target audience receives precisely what they want to see, great things will happen. Click on these videos if you want to expand your knowledge of AI and new technologies. Thank you for watching.